Amitabh Bachchan, a legend who inspired generations, broke new grounds. and became a role model, creating positive change in the world around him. On an evening inspired by the vision of John Walker and Sons, the stage was set to honor the remarkable spirit of Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. We are privileged to honor Mr. Amitabh Bachchan as the John Walker and Sons Game Changer of the Century. So ladies and gentlemen, on your behalf, it gives me great pleasure to invite Mr. Bachchan on stage to accept the John Walker and Sons Game Changer of the Century trophy. Followed by the felicitation, Mr. Bachchan opened up to Ornob Goswami on his remarkable journey to immaculate success. Thank you, Mr. Bachchan. Thank you, everyone, for coming here. Every time I speak to you, Mr. Bachchan, we've done about four interviews in the past. And I get bored very easily, but I never get bored speaking to you. <laughs> I always carry something new each time I speak to you. And that goes beyond uh, cinema. It, it's more to do with your philosophy of life. Are you aware, Mr. Bachchan, that today you inspire so many people just by being the way you are and having achieved so much? I, um, I really don't know what I'm doing that is inspiring people, but um, if you're saying so, then I would like to believe that something good is happening. Um, I haven't deliberately gone out trying to make an effort to do things the right way. We're all human beings and we make mistakes and uh, we have our faults and we have our shortcomings. But if there is something that is, uh, is working, um, I think it's, uh, it's the grace of God, the, the blessings of my parents. Uh, and the love and affection that I've always received from the people of this country who always stood by me and uh, given me um, a lot of their time and attention through the many years uh, that I've been in, well, in the public life, so to say. Let me look at five things today. This audience would define you as a game changer in many different ways. I would like you to look at five things, five reasons I believe you're a game changer. The first thing is about breaking new ground. A game changer breaks ground and you did that when you became the angry young man. At that time everyone was, uh, the people who were the stars were the romantic pin-up boys. You accepted an unconventional role and you broke new ground. What do you worried? What would happen if you were not to break new ground with that? Well, I actually was, uh, was a struggling actor looking for a job and this is the job that came my way, so I just took it. But uh, I never realized that, uh, you know, I was going to be doing something exceptional or something different or something that is going to change the way cinema is going to be looked at. Zanjeer, uh, uh, in a sense, uh, was, of course, extremely helpful for me because it became a success amongst many uh, unsuccessful ventures that I'd done earlier on. And it was indeed the very last film that I had uh, on my schedule. If I had failed in Zanjeer, then perhaps I would have had to go back to where I came from. Were you aware that you were changing the game? Not at all. I was aware that, you know, my kitchen would run the next day. <laughs> <laughs> a game changer also has a great range. Now, a lot of people criticized you. Initially, they said, why is Amitabh Bachchan playing a role where he's a 64-year-old romancing a 34-year-old? And in, that was in Chinika. Uh, then there was Nishant, where you were romancing your daughter's friend. That is not accepted in India. You would have faced some criticism for it. Now, besides, I mean, if I look at Bhagavan, Chinikam, and Nishant, 
you're romancing women of three different generations. Besides that, you were actually romancing yeah, no, women sure, of three different uh, generations. Uh, but but I, I besides that, why, you, when you were taking that risk, were you aware of the criticism you would face? Mm. I, I can't say about the other artists. Uh, I can only talk about myself and I feel that if there is a role which is challenging enough and it is going to challenge my creativity, I would accept it. Uh, irrespective of what effect it would have in the audience or what they were thinking about me. I've never really thought about that. I have never consciously looked upon a role as being something that I needed to do because my identity in the audience would either, you know, enlarge or diminish. I'm very happy that I did these films because I never looked at the idea of, uh, uh, of wanting to create an impression. I just felt that Bhagwan was a film which, uh, uh, which talked about family values, which talked about um, elders being looked after. I thought that there's a lot of thinking that some stars do about, I'm sure you don't, about which audience is going to like what. Like there's a lot of, audi lot of people out there in the audience who would have loved Bhagwan because it fits in with Indian family values. Now, Nishant, on the other hand, completely breaks down the conventional thinking of a relationship. Now, these are two extremes. Yeah. And why I think you're a game changer is because you've chosen these extremes. You've taken a risk, haven't you? I just want to go back to Bhagwan because there was an incident which was quite inspiring. There was a, a gentleman in England who went and saw this film at a very late night uh, show at Marble Arch in London. And he called the director of the film as soon as he came out of the theater. And this was at about 3 o'clock in the morning. And he said, uh, sir, uh, you're the director. I just wanted to tell you that I've just seen your film. You don't know me. Um, I live in London. I ha I'm a citizen of, uh, of England now, but I, my roots are in India. And uh, due to differences with my father, I haven't seen my father for 25 years. And I want to tell you, I've just seen this film, and I'm going back to my father right now, and I'm going to tell him I'm sorry. I thought that that was the, uh, the effect that it had, the film had, on the emotional quotient of the film. But to come back to Nishabd, yes, uh, Nishabd was the story of an elderly man who gets attracted uh, to uh, a young girl who is uh, his daughter's friend. And, um, and many people, uh, well, the first thing is that Bhagwan was a very successful film and Nishabd wasn't. So uh, that just goes to show that that story idea was different in value and therefore not accepted. Um, many of them uh, didn't even attempt to go into the theater. And as you were saying earlier on, uh, Arnab, um, they said, what, a 60-year-old guy is going to romance an 18-year-old girl? Or Amitabh can't do that. <laughs> that showed the the, the, the personalized uh, effect that some of the actors have with the audiences, yeah. where even if you want to change or do something different, um, there is a certain image that they carry about you. Yeah. And if you do something different, then they reject you. Yeah. But I feel that for me, it was, a, it, was a, it was a huge challenge. And I really enjoyed working in that film. Now, if they reject you, does it make you change your game? No, it doesn't make me change my game. but. Um, Perhaps next time, if such an offer were to come, I would think about it. I